Analytics and logarithms. We have another second example here. I want to take you through this. I believe that uh, it's a good reminder of uh, how you approach uh, problems on logarithms and also indices. Yeah, how about you solve logarithm uh, problems using logarithm terms. So welcome. Uh, let's go through this one. So in our example, we have um, 0 0.456 cubed. You are dividing with the square root of um, 0 0.0347. Now, as we are done in the other part, let's go through it. You say the first part, you have your number, then uh, you can have it expressed in standard form. And then the third one, you can say you get the, the logarithms. logarithms. So the first, our number here is 0 0.456. Okay, we want it to be cubed. So <clears throat> 0 0.4, let's express this one in standard form. It is 0. Point sorry 4.56 times 10 power negative 1 4.56 times 10 power negative 1 and uh, this negative 1 gives us a bar 1 here because of this power negative it would be power, power positive 1 we would, say, we would have said there 1 point if this is a negative we say bar 1 point so we have uh, the logarithm of 4.56 4.56 this is 0 0.6590 uh, 6590 yeah 6 4.56 yeah correct and because it is cubed when the a number is cubed on the logarithm uh, table uh, on the logarithm side you multiply this by because it is cubed. So let us multiply this by 3. So multiply by 3, you have this is 0. This is 9 times 3 is 27, carry 2. Uh, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2, 17, carry 1. This is 18 plus 1, 19. So you, are, you carry 1 now, a positive 1. So we have a positive 1. So this time this one is bar 3 or negative 3. Negative 3 plus positive 1 this gives you a negative 2 so you have here a bar 2 yeah so you have to be careful here uh, after you get 19 here you are carrying a positive 1 now this is uh, 3 times uh, bar 1 get bar 3 then bar 3 plus positive 1 shall get a bar 2 now the other number here is uh, 0 0.0347 and this one we are required to get the square root let now get the standard uh, form of this one is 3.3.47 times 10 power uh, negative 2 3.47 times 10 power negative 2. That makes here to have a bar 2 point. But now we can go to the tables and get uh, the log, log of 3.47. And from the tables, log of 3.47 is 0 0.5403. 5403. So that this one, the log of this one becomes this. Now, because it is under a square root sign, what we need to do is simply to multiply this one by a half. And when you multiply by a half, you can now have this one. This is a bar 2 or else a negative 2. Separate the negative with the positive. This is, this is a negative, but negative 2. And this is a positive 0 0.5403. Okay, so all of them you are multi all of it you are multiplied by two. So that can mean you divide this one by two, and also you divide this one by two. So that uh, we get what we get. Uh, we shall get this one as bar one plus by two one by two we get zero point two seven zero one five. Okay, two seven zero one five. And this makes it uh, 0 0.27, um, 
we can round it off 2702. 2702. So combining this one, this one shall give us by 1.2702. And so if we can carry on now with our calculation where this is our number is our standard form and this is our logarithm this is our logarithm part so we shall take now uh, remember this is the numerator this is the numerator and now this is the denominator so we can have them here so that we can uh, now because it was a division this was a division we now subtract the two so we're gonna have now by 2.9770 then we have here by 1.2702 since it is a division we subtract so 10 by minus 2 8 we shall have this one as 6 7 minus 7 is 0 we shall have this one is um, 7 point now this um this gives us bar 2 minus negative 1. So minus 2 minus and minus makes it a positive. So that uh, we can have minus 2 plus 1. So that here we can have a bar 1. Now, after getting bar 1, we... After getting bar 1, okay, this is the final part. Now we can get the handy logarithm. And because this is bar 1, this one becomes 10 power negative 1. So we're going to now check the handy logarithm of 0 0.7068. Now, from our hand logarithm table, 0 0.70, 0 0.70, good. Then we have 6, and then we go to 8. 8 we have 10 so from our uh, logarithm tables we have the logarithm of that is 5.092 so now uh, the actual value the answer for this one we can write it up here so this one times this one gives us 0.50 9 2 0.5092 as our final as our final answer 0 0.5092 as our final answer so once again uh, what i need to emphasize is once you have a number like this one and it is cubed you get a standard form and uh, the logarithm you will have to multiply by three get that now once you have a square root this is it uh standard form is the log and then you have to multiply by half and you split the 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 negative bit and also the positive part work on this you get a bar one work on this one you get this is equals to combine the two you are getting this now because it is a division subtract uh, this from this that's what we have here if you could have uh, uh, more space you do it down so you have these two subtracting them you get this one then from there uh, you have this uh,